guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome and don't forget to subscribe and if you're returning thank you don't forget to like this video so as you can see from the title today i'll be doing an apartment tour of my 1k 34 meter square leo palace apartment and i'm not recording at the door right now because i live right at the roadside and too many cars are passing it's going to be noisier than out here and too many people are passing i'm at the park which is literally right a minute walk from my door so i'm just recording the intro so come on let's go let's go i think let's go is this way right so i'm actually at the front door and this apartment has a smart lock and i really like that because i'm going to enter the code so i like that because i don't have to take out my key from my bag for the entire week unless i'm changing my bag i don't need to take my key outside my bag so as soon as you step in if you're familiar with japanese apartment step into the game con and have a few shoes that i wear here a few under there about four or five pairs and an umbrella oh why did i turn on the light so the smart lock it automatically locks as well so i don't need to close it but i do sometimes or just do that it um it closes itself after like 30 seconds i think 30 seconds so by the time i go up the stairs what i'm talking so i might be down here this has a small shoe closet this apartment a lot way smaller maybe half the size of the one that i had before but that's fine i just keep some shoes upstairs so i have a few pairs of shoes here um you heard it close a while ago it just closed the smart lock um this one can't really hold much shoes i have to keep some of my shoes here some under there and some upstairs yeah but i guess i don't know what what i guess so we're going up now and i like these color stairs um better than the ones that i had before and i put the pictures here do you remember these pictures yeah i put them here on the wall um instead and oh you remember that automatic ear freshener i got from amazon a few years ago i love it whenever i'm going to jamaica i'm getting one for my mom so if you turn right instead of left to the left is the bathroom but let's go right first closet and i'm glad that this closet is not in the room because i can use all the walls of my room and i don't and i don't have to worry that i'm blocking um the closet so yeah it's a little packed in here because it's small but it's still a mini walk-in closet so i have some shoes on the floor i have this if you remember from the other apartment and i put these from the other apartment um this one has hangers clothes braids that i need to sell <laughs> yes and some wigs up here and some other stuff got shoes as i mentioned on the floor in here Ooh, some shoes in those boxes as well and tip this is a pro tip if you're coming to japan and you're it's summertime please get some dehumidifier old is a big issue in japan i don't know why this one's up here why did i put it up here in japan so especially where your clothes are get some dehumidifiers so they can suck up the moisture um this one i haven't even bought it a month and look at it look water and i have more i have about four in here that's one more there are two in the corner around there so this is the closet guys it's not very organized it's organized enough for me to function without worrying but it could be better yeah some clothes 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 wigs over here and these things here these are my sewing things oh well um iron board i don't know why i still keep my iron in the box i have fabric in here for sewing um things that i've already sewn scrunchies shower caps and down here things to sell like hair products and stuff oh 
and yeah there's some new materials that i want to i think i might try and make a skirt with this one you know instead of using it to sew bonnets or whatnot but yeah these are just christmas decoration and some more clothes i need a better way so i think it's organized it's very functional but it's not like i don't know exactly how to describe what i'm saying but like it it doesn't like i want it all all one color or something something's wrong with me i know maybe but for now i'm satisfied with this so I just have clothes clothes um storage I might buy one more of this because i'm running out of space to store my scrunchies some more shoes the rest of shoes are downstairs some bags and that's a closet and now let's go right ah left gosh well, if you turn left instead of right as soon as you come up the stairs you'll see trying to figure this <laughs> the bathroom and yeah it's not perfect but it's way better than i had before so yes a laundry thing is right there at the door which is crazy but i don't want to keep it in the closet yeah so this is the little bathroom area i'm considering getting a curtain for here you know because it doesn't have a door right here so it's just like this and then here so before you know i didn't have a face basin if you've watched the previous video it was just the little basin in the shower so why am i holding this thing like this <laughs> It's shaky okay so these up here fell down the other day you know with the earthquake and i shouldn't have put them back up there but anywho this is the little space here the washing machine you know i got on amazon and i'll link everything down below i just have you know the whole laundry situation in japan these are things for laundry pinning up clothes this also is the thing i used to pin my clothes on and these are just products and that's me hi this little one k has about 15 light switch or 15 bulbs yeah so and along with the many lights um i like that this has space behind it so i have a lot of little stuff stuff extra toothpaste extra makeup clean all kind of stuff acetone stuff 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 behind here and then down here Hoo -hoo! i got extra hair products for myself but i don't have any intention of selling hair products um i almost called the, the blow dryer vacuum jesus and stuff stuff under here yeah and i just showered which is why the vent is on making noise in here ah, this is the little shower room the mirror is way down here <laughs> nothing much um the shower is it's a lot bigger than the last apartment um this tub i still haven't gone over there i just cured up over here i don't know why uh, i think that one day i'm gonna get some real strong detergent and then i start have, taking baths instead of shower so yeah um so there's this little thermostat thing in here it controls the shower room and the kitchen so this one, there's one also in the kitchen as well, but I don't touch it because it works and I don't need to change it so I don't touch it at all. <laughs> one thing I don't like though, my previous shower room had a heating system. This doesn't, it just has ventilation, um, dry and cool breeze or something like that. Yeah, that's it for the shower room or the bathroom now let's go straight ahead and then there is a door and more lights and vents uh, i don't know what i tried to do there with that little cat to turn it and this is the toilet room so the, the shower the toilet and the, the basin are all separate which i love so i'm gonna scale down there and yeah just some toilet paper and extra extra stuff here as you know with these japanese toilets when you flush them you just wash your hand here to save water so yeah 
and this is one of those not really very fancy but fancy-ish fancier than the one i had before because it's that heating it heats it has a bidet and stuff so yeah fancy ish <laughs> um japanese toilet it's not the one that sing but it's still fancy all right let's move to the next room the rooms are very, uh the doors are so close one here and then just one here and this is the room the kitchen and living room everything one day one room apartment so let's go in let's take the lift quick <sighs> yes this is the lift the left is the kitchen <laughs> the right is something else anyways this is the little kitchen area i wouldn't say kitchen it but yeah kitchen it ish um my sink as you can see way bigger than the other one which i very much appreciate i have a little counter space the other apartment didn't have any source of counter space it was just the little two burner stove and then the sink i have a uh, lot more first of all let's go to the fridge um yeah which i bought all of these stuff uh microwave almost everything in here is from amazon this you know i had from the other apartment and this doesn't have cookies but it doesn't have thread either it has snacks but not cookies but not thread so microwave my fridge should i open it though so yeah just open it it's not very full but it has a little stuff in here um if these this is a lot bigger my mother was like why did you buy such a small fridge but i'm like explain to her that the apartment is small and this is way bigger than i had before way bigger because if i had all of these things in the other fridge it would be packed and couldn't hold anything um more so this is my little fridge i will link everything down below this is a big fail guys um i bought these bins saying that oh they could fit in a perfect corner but they, they don't they can't fit how I wanted them to fit. So I just like put them in the little corner around here. And the one that I use every day, I put it closer so I can. This is the reason why I bought it. I don't have to leave it. But the others I probably use once or twice a week. So it doesn't really matter that much. But like I really wanted them out. Um, and I got these on Amazon as well. Um, you, this has been in my last two apartments with just spices and all different types of spices lemon pepper um, bagel yeah and it's magnetic and that's why it's holding on so well to that part then we have uh, the little vent the what's this the stove <laughs> I have a three burner now and I have some peas on here because I'm going to cook some bread. It's Sunday and I want to cook some rice and peas as soon as I finish this video. I'm going to cook some rice and peas. I already seasoned up my chicken and I put it back in the freezer. And it has a little grill. It's a Japanese fish grill. I have baked chicken in here. I tried um, making a banana bread and it burnt so badly. I'm still trying to like figure it out. Um, why don't I turn on the lights? Oh my goodness it's so much light that's why and then right under here should i even open these cupboards i'm going, going to so under here is just so many random things <laughs> rice cooker air fryer um ter thermos a uh, alcohol milo oils different types of it's just so many random bags for garbage it's just so many things under these little counters I got a pineapple that I really need to peel. Uh, yeah, my little food scale. And this is considered a part of the kitchen. So don't don't look in the, live, the, the, the room or the living room till I get there. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that I can stay here and cook and watch TV at the same time. So just a lot of condiments in here with some fruits. You know, my kettle. I don't need to be short to explain in these little things. So just random things in these drawers. Yeah. These are just dishes. Yeah, pots, <laughs> more dishes. 
initially I thought this was oh, a lot of space, but it actually isn't like for the cupboards because they they fill up like really fast. Then we have two more cupboards up here. This one I just have um, cups and plates, and this one I have like food. Oh wow! I'm running out of rice. <laughs> My rice is almost finished. Yeah. So that's it for the kitchen. That's a little kitchen, y'all. Um, and I still have my little painting that I made back in my only the only thing I've ever painted in my life. Yes, back in university. I put it in this apartment too. So hi Miro. Hi. <laughs> so I'm glad I have a doorbell camera this time. Really, really glad. The last apartment I didn't have one. The one before I did. I'm glad because I don't have to answer those people trying to sell me things anymore. I can't just pretend I'm not here. Or those Mount Fuji cult people who are trying to invite me to their church. So, that's good. Yay! Outside. So cool. This is the little vanity. You might have seen it in the me making it in the previous video. Oh my god, it took so long. Like four f so or five hours. I don't even remember. And it's very small, so I have makeup on top with jewelry and stuff. And you can see I got some perfume or cologne. No, cologne is for men. Um, perfume. I don't know which is my favorite. This is strong, y'all. I can't wear this to school because I don't want anyone to be like, oh, it's too strong for school. Um, the Burberry. I don't wear any of these on top for school. You know, the coach, the Versace, or the Burberry. The Burberry is the strongest. Um, I don't wear those to school. They're too strong. I don't wear these to school either, this row. They're very strong. I wear these to school. And these little ones down here. These are all um, omiyage from trips. This was from Kyoto, this was from Kyoto. My boss brought this back from Guam and stuff. Yeah, and this is a little vanity. You just have random stuff in these drawers as well. <laughs> all sorts of random stuff. And this is this I bought this like I think in 2016 back in Lake George when I was working in New York. And then behind it is like a little slide door. And guys, if you're interested in any of these products, I am a broke broke person, so I shop on a budget. I will link them down below. This is just a makeup brush, and it goes all the way back. Things are all the way back to the end. Mm -hmm. Where do I go now? I'm acting like it's a big place. It's a very small place. My little fake flowers for whenever I I don't have real flowers. I just use these because I hate seeing the empty vase. Oh, my laptop is like mirroring my phone. I was using it earlier, and I'm not even. I don't even want to go too close to that table over there. It's like that's a mess corner. I try my best with it. Like so many things over here. Um. <laughs> the vacuum as you can see um that humidifier box has a lot of screws and screwdrivers these are things i got from uh what which one was this disney land disney c usj my vision board that i made on the second uh, of january um just some other stuff Ooh. my full government name showing on this thing eh Anyways, my machine under the air for when I feel like sewing. And this corner, you think this corner is messy right now? Wait until I say, whenever I am sewing and I take out the machine and I take up, it just gets pretty, pretty messy over here. My laminator is on the floor. I have a bin. It's just a pretty messy corner. But all, the, why is it shaking so much? But all the mess is confided to one area so i can live with that and which is this that is why i wanted two rooms so i can sew in peace in one and just shut it when i'm finished but i didn't get that and that's okay so yeah this is my this is so annoying <laughs> my little books japanese that i'm not japanese 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 not even really not even studying but i need to start though I've been here a while. I need to um, speak, learn to speak the language. Um, 
you everyone knows this couch it was from amazon a few years ago too uh, yeah i've changed the covering sometimes the white and stuff but yeah that's a little couch this has a whole stuff of socks and it's like a footstool but i use it as a footstool and i use it to keep my remote and other stuff sometimes depends on what i'm doing and this is my tv it's bigger than the other one this one's are like 40 inches i think um i don't even know what to call this corner i can't say it's an entertainment corner because it got so much things going on here got a mirror i got gifts that i got i got so much things going on here my little piggy bank glasses that couldn't fit in the kitchen ring lights all sorts of cords um little mini heater that's a dvd player that you know nintendo um <laughs> humidifier potato head that was a gift from disneyland yeah the nintendo thingy thing so that's that little corner over there um let's just move on <laughs> and to the last thing in my apartment my bed <laughs> And this bed, oh my gosh, it took so long to build. It it has these these little parts for books, but I don't need them for books, so I just put a flowers under there. <laughs> That's hiding anyways. And it has a charging port. Has some drawers that I absolutely love. And um space that you can like store things. And I will insert a picture because there's like a lot of things stored under this bed. Other from the drawers with the clothes and stuff, very deep drawers. There are two suitcases and a whole bunch of stuff stored under, the, under this bed. Um, yeah. So I think that's it guys for this little apartment tour. I'm very comfortable in this little place. It's small, but it's mine. I got to make it my own. And... So, a 360. Woo. <laughs> My shaky, shaky camera. All right, thank you guys again, and see you in a minute. Hey guys, so if you've gotten to this part of the video, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment down below what you think about the little apartment. Um, as I've mentioned before, it's just a 1K. And as if you've, you've seen, it's only a 1K. Uh, but I still love it because um, it's bigger than where I was living before. Where I was living before, I was, what, 26 point something meter square. And this is 34 point something meter square. So a whole <laughs> 8 meter square is more. So I love it. And not just because of that i was one who got to design well not really design like pick the pieces that i wanted in here you can hear the ambulance coming by um i live right at the roadside so i got to pick my table i got to pick my bed i got to pick everything so um i love it a lot more because of that where i was living before as you would have seen the bed was just in one corner the table was in one corner the tv stand was in one corner nothing could move well, here I have the ability to move our own things, so I'm grateful for that because if you've watched the previous videos, you would have seen that the apartment was completely empty um, when I got here. The only thing that was here was the stove, which, you know, it's built in and stuff, so I had to buy all the furniture, which was pretty expensive in my opinion. Um, they weren't, the furniture weren't expensive, but they cost me a lot and now I'm broke. <laughs> Anyways, moving costs a lot in Japan, a lot. So yeah, um, I had to buy everything and I, I like it. I like my space, it's not completely finished. I still need to find some better way to organize the closet. Maybe I'm gonna get shelves and stack them up high. I don't know yet, I don't, I'm not sure. So it's not completely finished, almost finished, but not completely, but I'm very, very comfortable at this point i don't really have to do anything else well i except really get a curtain because i need to buy a black old curtain comment down below guys what color do you think i should buy should i buy brown or should i buy pink because these white curtains are too um 
transparent for winter coming up and I need sleep. I really need sleep and as the skies are awake, I'm awake. So like like Anna. Was it Anna or Elsa? One of them. So yeah, um as I've mentioned earlier, this apartment is 61,500 yen. Um at today's conversion about 450 US. It's not yeah, so it's not um, a lot in US but um based on our salary it's yeah 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 you, you get the dress. So it's about 450 US dollars, 61,500 yen, and that includes parking and internet. And it could have been less if I didn't pay the internet, but everyone needs internet. Or if I didn't have a car, it would have been less because the parking um, space is like 4,500 yen, I think. Um, yeah, but the total cost with internet and parking is 61,500 yen. All right, so I think that's it. I think that's all I need to share for today. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, I don't know why you'd have a concern about this video. Questions, sure. Um, please don't be afraid to comment down below and stick around for more videos about my life here in Japan. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Janet.